Hi, my name is Jeremiah Grossman. I am the founder and CTO of White Hat Security. Uh, we provide an outsourced service for website vulnerability management. Um, the reason I started the company um, was back when I was a security officer at Yahoo, where my job was to hack all of the websites Yahoo had, roughly 600 or so websites, uh, 17,000 publicly facing web servers, and 180 million act, uh, active users. And when I got my assessment process down at Yahoo to make sure we found all the vulnerabilities, it would take about 40 man hours uh, per website to assess them. So when you do the math and you assess uh, 40 man hours times 600 websites equals about 12 and a half years of work. Um, obviously with our small team we were never going to get all that work done um, should the websites uh, you know, never change, which they always did. So we, I, I thought about to look for all the solutions in the space that I could find and then didn't find anything that was t uh, uh, terribly attractive to me. So this is what served as the foundation for Y Hat, to be able to provide an outsourced service, something that could uh, not only be used by companies like Yahoo, but the, the thousands of other companies online. So today we're assessing roughly 300 we websites, uh, uh, 350, 350 or so websites every single month. Um, with a uh, smaller team. So we're, we're looking at a process where we're rationalizing the process of uh, web application security assessments. And if you look at web application security and how it differs from network security, network security is all about building uh, perimeter defenses and layered defenses to keep the bad guys out but let the good guys in. Normally that's done through you know, firewall rules, allow lists, and things like that. And the difference between web application security is that you allow port 80 and port 443 traffic in. So the paradigm changes. It, it becomes uh, not so much as a perimeter security solution, but more of let's let the whole world in and hopefully that they'll play nice. So it's a very different mindset when it comes from uh, network security versus web application security. Another big difference that people run into when they uh, when they find vulnerability assessment, when they move from network security to web application security, is we can't find all the vulnerabilities for, through purely automated means. In network security, it's a bunch of well-known checks, thousands and thousands of checks that you look for across the range. In web applications, you're looking for vulnerabilities in custom code. And while we can send attacks in an automated fashion, we can't detect everything in a purely automated way. We think we might be able to test for about half of the issues in a public, in a in a purely automated fashion, so the rest must be done by humans. So just because a scanner says it's, uh, you're, you're all clean or it found X amount of issues, there's probably another set beyond that which we call logical vulnerabilities. So what Whitehead does is we look at this assessment process and we rationalize. We go, well, these are all the things that you know, we can do with the scanner and leave all the decision-making processes to the humans. We'll look at a URL and the scanner will tell us there's a number in the URL. Would you, what would you like to do with this? So we'll rotate the number up and down and see if it does uh, something bad. If something bad happens, then we'll have the human look at it to make that determination. So that's, that's where we're going with the web application uh, security realm. Another interesting thing that we found doing our work is that we assess, we're able to assess both uh, internally facing websites and also production facing websites. And when you do, when you do that, it's good to uh, find the vulnerabilities uh, pre-production before you push the vulnerabilities out and you have a, a larger issue when they're in production. But what we found during our research and doing our assessment work that the vulnerabilities in both systems were never identical. On seemingly mirrored systems from station to production, we found different vulnerabilities. And there was a number of reasons for this. Different code, uh, the push cycles or hot fixes weren't identical. And there's a number of reasons why vulnerabilities in production you know, didn't necessarily happen in, uh, in development. So this is a very, uh, very different paradigm we're dealing with web application security. And, you know, beyond that, you know, what, what does it mean when we move into this uh, Web 2.0 realm where we're doing more and more with websites? Um, it's been said that the future of software is web applications. I tend to agree. More and more of the software that, that we interact with, the more and more of the important software, whether you look at Google, Yahoo, Salesforce.com, Bank of America, more and more of the software that we're using is is uh, on the web and we're using more and more of the software in our daily lives. It's almost as if the desktop is becoming less important with this new web 2.0 realm. And right now there's about 100 million websites out there. Um, we're, we're assessing some of the largest companies uh, in the world right now, some would say the most secure websites, and we're finding about 8 in 10 of them have uh, serious security vulnerabilities. They are exploitable. So if you start doing the numbers there, you'll find that uh, 
it's a, it's a big problem that needs addressing. We need better solutions to find these issues. We need better solutions for making sure when we write code, the vulnerabilities don't, don't, uh, aren't, in, aren't in the system uh, to begin with. And also, we need solutions beyond the code. We need additional layers of defenses to, you know, should, a, should software have a bug or should software have a vulnerability, we can add additional layers on top of that, specifically web application firewalls or strong configuration guidelines. Perhaps encryption could work as well. So we need this large, uh, this large stack of security solutions, just like they have in the network security space. We're racing to apply it to the web application security world.